A fight at an emergency room left a teenager with a concussion. It happened between the boy and a security guard, and both were hurt. Police are painting a different picture of what happened, but say both could face charges. New tonight, I sat down with the 16-year-old and his mother, who say they want justice. I just don't want to have another kid go and be in the same predicament I am. Go to the hospital for treatment and come out with worse condition. 16-year-old Augustine Velasquez went to the Sparrow Ionia Hospital emergency room last Saturday with severe stomach pain. But not happy with the staff, he and his mother decided to leave. And that's when they say things got ugly. All I could think was they're going to hurt him, seriously hurt him or kill him, you know, and it just made my stomach sick. Velasquez says a security guard walked up, put him in a chokehold, and beat him so badly he has what doctors at another hospital diagnosed as a somewhat severe concussion. I leaned back, and then I just remember as soon as I leaned back, I started getting smashed into stuff. I don't want no one to hurt my kids, and I try to protect them. I don't want them to get hurt. Meantime, the Ionia Department of Public Safety says Velasquez gave them different versions of what happened, and investigators are requesting misdemeanor charges for both him and the security officer, saying Velasquez had been combative at the hospital. We were just walking out the door to go to another hospital. You're not being in denial because you're his mother? No, I'm not. My 14-year-old daughter was even there, and she's seen it all, and she heard it all. Ionia Hospital sent us this statement. Our preliminary investigation indicates that the situation was correctly handled by our security officer and ER staff. However, details of the case remain confidential as part of an ongoing police investigation. Did you provoke them in any way? Uh, no, I did not. Provoke the security guard in any way? Uh-uh. Now, police tell us they've dealt with Velasquez dozens of times before. The city attorney is waiting for video from the hospital that may show exactly what happened. And then it will be up to the city attorney to decide who, if anyone, will be charged.